of red sage is fine blade of vibration and the transcendental mode of sacrifices and the temple of holy names japa and of immortal things and marvelous brahma brahma the first living teacher in the universe created the several sons for the propagation of various kinds of species among the sons Guru is most powerful say of all the transcendental vibration Om, Om Ka, Vibrasan Krishna of all sacrifices Thank you, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. This pure celebration of Krishna. Sometimes there is no sacrifice to that, but to make it worth the sacrifice of Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, there is no question of why it is the simplest and purest. Whatever is sometimes in which in the world is a representation of Krishna. Therefore, the Himalaya, the great mountain in the world, also represents. The mountain, the Meru, was mentioned in the previous part, but Meru is sometimes doable, where the Himalaya, Pati was doable, just the Himalaya is greater than Meru. The Momo Vishnu Pradaya Krishna says, Pada Vita Vita Sita, Jaro Swami Deva Kuru Kuru, Nita Jeta Sita Namya, Nita Jeta Sita, Pada Hinda Vita Vita Sita, Nita Jeta Sita Namya, The Momo Vishnu Pradaya Krishna says, Pada Vita Vita Sita Namya, Pada Hinda Vita Vita Sita Namya, I am just giving you that person 
of being connected and not connected with you. But the real reason is that my Lord, your holy name is much more powerful than you. We don't know your potential for holy name. It's very powerful than you. And that's why the rocks are sinking with your body. And there's a monthly statement. Six hours to come there and make you suppose you have to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wrote eight verses only, eight six after compares, and out of the second six after compare, Nam Nam Akali Devran is a service of this. Tatkar Pita Mimitis Narayana Nishma, Eta Rasita Rukita Bhagavan Mahaprabhu, Guru Devran Jiva Sami Bhagavan Mahaprabhu. He said that the first line, Nam Nam Akali Devran is a service of this. Your millions of them. The real translation of these words is, Oh Lord, your holy name alone can render all the reasons to live in books. And thus you have hundreds and millions of them that Christian world. In the transcendental names you have invented all your transcendental potencies. And there are not hardly past words to tell this name. Out of kindness you are able to easily approach you by your holy name. But I am so unworthy. On my he said, your name is very powerful. And this works in the first line indicates Nam Nam Akali Yoga Mita Sarva Saktis. Your body name, in your body name, all potencies are invested. And that's why the body name is much more powerful than you. And that's why it is also important. Other conditions he is mentioning. That your millions of things you can go in all in all these things you have invested your potencies. Your name is more powerful than you. And he said furthermore, that there are not even hard and fast things to tell these things. Anybody can tell any time, anywhere, any place, without time, place and circumstances. You can tell it any time, any place, anywhere. Even these conditions are so easy. There are not even hard and fast things to tell these things. Conditions are so easy. For the living being, we are so unfortunate. Even with all these conditions, we have no exception for the world. This is a soft compared to the BBS. Different basic in Chaitanya Chaitanya. And we have Goswami also mentioned about the potency of the world. They say, Sarasati Nam Nira Kariya Vimaka, Amara Dundaiva Nari Nami Nira. You have invested all your potencies in your body name. Amara, Gurudeva, Nami, Vajra. We are so unfortunate that I have not done something. So why do you want to do it? That is not explained, of course, in the Sikhs after one year, but that is explained by Rupa Goswami and Prabhupada instructions. So in the name of Mahaprabhu, we got eight prayers of Sikhs after one year. He only wrote eight prayers, nothing else. He was in my Pandit, greatest scholar of the first time, and he told me, hey, please. Rupa Goswami, his main disciple, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came in the form of Triyoti to give us an adaptation, and his main disciples are these Sad Goswami, six Goswamis, and among them, Rupa Goswami was the living Goswami, living one of the leaders. And he wrote some six hours to come. He wrote some necrobius nuts. Prayers. He wrote prayers. He wrote prayers. And in the real prayers, in seven prayers, he mentioning about why living entities are not affected to all the world. He mentioned. Of course, his all even prayers are very important. As six hours to come prayers are very important for the devotee life to advance his devotional practices. To become perfected in the open practice, six hours of prayer is very important. Similarly, the next step in system eight verses are very important. If you want to get perfection in the open practice, you should take them and if you try to implement in your life. They are very important, six hours of prayer. At one point in our temple, we used to use, we used to chant all these necrobius nuts and prayers always in the morning. Of course, later on we change this thing only. Of course, we always change this. 
now of us and the money. And now we are dealing with the successful people. But we used to tell this young pairs of successful, the young pairs of network is successful people this year. And as I mentioned, the seventh pair is mentioned what is happening. Why? We are not being attracted to the whole year. He is taking them off. Krishna's Nam, Guru, Moon, and Lila, they are very sweet, very active. And their priest is also very active, but unfortunately, Avidya, we are suffering from Avidya. Rupa Goswami mentioned them all these Avidya, the diseases of journeys. When person suffers from the diseases of journeys, he cannot have one, he does not feel the taste of sugar, he does not feel the taste of sugar, he does not feel the taste of because of human bio secretion. He has lost the taste of the sugar. Sweetness of sugar is not there. So same thing, he is comparing this journalist, this is the Avidya. The living entities are in ignorance. So much so in ignorance that they don't know what is their what is their position and what is their relationship with Krishna. They have, they have not understood their real position. Actually we are all the normal condition we are all into the service of Krishna. Kaidas Goswami mentioned in Chaitanya Charivit, Jiva Swarupai Krishna Nitya, Jiva Swarupai Krishna Nitya, Jiva Swarupai Krishna Nitya. He is mentioned living entities through position, living entities through consideration. He is an internal servant of Krishna. All of it. Jiva Tattasa Sakti Veda Vipakas and Jiva Sakti, which is us, all of us, is Tattasa. Is marginal potency of the law. The law has so many potencies, as I mentioned in the beginning. The law has many, many, many potencies, and there are potencies are invested in the whole year. At the same time, we have, we have three main potencies that we come across all the time the law, which is one internal potency, external potency, and marginal potency. Internal potency is the law of internal potency. External potency is the Maya under which we are all running around here today. My external potency of the law, which is very powerful energy of the law. And then, we are the We are looking for marginal potency. We are in beauty. We have a choice. We can choose to be with Krishna's and to know the potency of Krishna's external potency. There is our choice. We don't have to make choice in this material world. Either we remain connected with Krishna or we become disconnected with Krishna. Either we remain with Krishna's internal potency or we remain with Krishna's external potency. We connected, we become connected with Krishna means we stay with Krishna's internal potency. We become disconnected with Krishna means we become, we become a victim of the external potency of Krishna that is Maya. That's our choice. We don't have so much freedom. We think that we are all free, but we don't have freedom. So we have no freedom actually. Only freedom is our choice that we choose either to be with Krishna or not to be with Krishna. As Brahman mentioned, if, if you become disconnected with Krishna, you will be going, you will be going in the energy of Krishna's external energy and that's Maya. If you become connected with Krishna, then you will be Krishna. So, our position is just like that. We have, we have freedom of choice. We don't have much freedom of choice as I told you, as I am telling you now also. Our freedom of choice is that we can choose between life and life. That's all. We can choose between with Krishna or with not with Krishna. Krishna's internal policy or Krishna's external policy is Maya. And unfortunately, living entities are in the sphere of Maya. As long as we are in the material world, or it is seen that if in material condition, if we begin to make you watch the material things, then we will forget our original consciousness, we will forget our original constitutional position, and we go under the influence of Maya. Because then we are forgetting, forgetful of Krishna. Always even of Krishna, it is mentioned that. That always in the question of the world from the question. This is what is given in the Vedas, which is mentioned that he should have it. Smatayam Chatham Vishnu Vishnu Tena Dhatita Sarvavidhi Nisheta Sutra Yokeka. Once you remember the two principles, remember Krishna, remember Vishnu, and you are from the question. And all the other rules and regulations are secondary to this rules. You can observe all the rules and regulations of Kendi Hori, you can observe all the regulations of Vedas. But if you have forgotten Krishna, if you have not remembered Krishna, then what is the use of those rules and regulations? Ultimately, rules and regulations are supposed to remind us of the extent that we don't forget Krishna and we always remember Krishna. These are the rules and regulations. 
in the Vedas don't lead to this. The rules, if you, whatever you understand, if you, if you keep forgetting Krishna or not remembering Krishna, then what do you use of those? Those rules are second -hand. Those rules here are servants of this in principle. Always remember Krishna, you don't forget. So this is what it is. So remembering Krishna, so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu mentioned, so mentioned about this thing. So remembering Krishna or this Krishna. He is mentioning to Sarup Dhamada. Harsakya Sura Sarup Dhamada, Nama Krishna Paramadaya. You see, he is informed Sarup Dhamada and Ramadaya. They are two close associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he is telling them, Kaliyuga, Nama Rupa, Krishna has come. Because Krishna has come as a Nama And that is the only principle that we should remember that we should always remember Krishna. So, Harsakya Prabhu Sura Sarup Dhamada. Nama Sankitana Kara Sarva Upaya. Kali Yuga and Dhaf Sukhaya is the only Upaya. Many different places also it's a mention about the Krishna body is important. It is mentioned there. It is Sarva 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 Kali Kavva Sanasana Sarva Vedya Siddhastri Sarva Vedya Siddhastri. It is mentioned that this 16 Akshara Siddhastri, this 16 Siddhastri body is the name of Krishna is the mantra you need to know all impurities of Kali Yuga. There is no other way, there is no other way, there is no other way, but this is the, this is the way, this is the observation of all Veda. So all Veda also is making this holy name, chanting of the holy name is very important. Coming to our Avidya, as I mentioned, Rupa Goswami mentioned about this Avidya, and Avidya is the cause of all, material suffering, Avidya is the cause of all suffering. And because of this avidya, we have become disconnected or we have forgotten about Krishna concept of this. Otherwise, Krishna and Krishna consciousness, they live together. But some more they are when we, when we go deep into the Maya or when we forget about Krishna's consciousness later, then we become a victim of the Maya. And then we become the Maya, then we have forgotten. And that's the first mention. He mentioned that Krishna Nama Surya Samo, Maya Jaya Dika. Jahan Krishna, Jahan Nehi, Maya Vika, Maya Vika. Wherever there is Krishna, there is no question of Maya. And then, wherever Krishna is there, so there is no question of Maya. So wherever there is sun is there, there is no question of darkness. Krishna is compared to sun, and Maya is compared to the darkness. And wherever there is Krishna, there is no question of darkness. There is no question of darkness, there is no question of ignorance. Darkness is ignorance. Each place there is ignorance in mention. Actually, we are in the present age of Kali, and Kali Yuga is made predominantly governed by the mode of ignorance. It is mentioned in Sastra that at different ages, in different ages, different kinds of modes of material nature were working. Especially, Sattva was predominant in Satya Yuga, in Treta Yuga, Raja was predominant in Dwapar Yuga, combination of Raja and Sattva. And Kali Yuga, which is now we are going to, there is a predominant of the Tamas, or the Ignorance. So Kali Yuga is full of this force. Kali Yuga has so many properties. Even in Sukhdeva Goswami, in Srimad Bhagavad, in Dwayam Kaltu, he is mentioning about so many forms of Kali Yuga. So many forms he is mentioning to Paisit Maharaj. And Paisit Maharaj was surprised at how he will know how he will get his will be liberated from this Kali Yuga. It seems to be impossible. It's like a big ocean of the force and how do you begin to jump from this, this ocean of the force of this Kali Yuga? It's mentioned and it's telling that Sukhdeva Gosha is mentioned in Pai Siddh Maharaj that Kalayam Nehdi Yosaradhi Hasti Eka Mahavya Kirtinala Kirtanasya Mukta Sangha Paramdhya He said, yes, truly, this Kali Yuga is full of force. So many thousand people will be surprised to see the law of Siddha was a minister in the field that kept up trying to enter. You will be surprised to see that what are the symptoms of Kali Yuga in the medicine. You will not know so many thoughts of this Kali Yuga in the medicine. And he said how we can remember it. He said the simple matter. He also knew what some is then sensory to tell you the price in my life. That is the simple matter. It's not in the night, it's the same, but it's not the same. Just by changing the holy name of Krishna, you will become free from this material and take the name. Kali Yuga, Kali personified. Heard this statement of this Sukhdeva Gosha Guru. 
बैठ से तुम्हारा
and one can become free from this material being. They even want to solve this issue like the administration of God working very clearly. The desire of the living and things. And it is mentioned in one statement in Sangha Bhagavan, in one simple statement, Eka Dhiti Tatrupa Bhu Padaka Ma Padaka. Just one statement indicates of Sangha Bhagavan, all living entities can come past. All living entities are encompassed in this one statement. Eka Dhiti Tatrupa Bhu Padaka. The living entities have, is mentioned about the next of the living entities. Eka Dhiti Tatrupa Bhu Padaka Ma Padaka. Living entities with one leg, two legs. Three legs, four legs, bahu legs, many legs, and no legs. And all the living entities are encompassed in this description of one dimensional world. What we know of those eight million four hundred thousand species of life, they are all included in this area. And human work, the very rare work that is obtained, Sulabhum, 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 this is not a single barber. Sulabhum, very difficult to achieve, very easy to obtain. What do you think of these human works? Nothing but we just came in the loop of child and we came and we became human, that's all. So the love, but it was very difficult because after going through many species of lives we have gone through human works. After going through all these species of lives we have gone through we don't know many men. According to this Vedic Sastra, you can say within 20,000 species of life, we have gone from aquatics to plants to birds and reptiles and worms and then come to animals. And so many birds, so many things, and finally come to human work. And if you don't use the human work for property. So it's so long, very easy to obtain, but so good work, very difficult to get people after this. So many species of life you have to human work. And if you don't realize for this proper purpose of purpose of human work, it's not just it is the human being in the family. It is just more than that. The mention in Sastra, a hard way of having to do some money for the possible life. Brahmati is a practical means to come one in a possible sama. He said four activities are common in a human, all the living being, ahar, nidra, bhai, and mati, eating, sleeping, waiting, and eating. These are the four activities that are common in all living entities. All living entities do these four activities, eating, sleeping, waiting, and eating. Maybe in a different platform, maybe in a different kind of sophistication, but still, basic activities are the same. But it is not that these are not in a pathology. Ahara Nidra Bhandu Samadhi Ka Prasimha Aham Dharmadhi Ka Sarvi Ka Vishasa Dharmadhi Ka Sarvi Ka Vishasa But every day, especially the human being, there is some Dharma. And that Dharma, if without that Dharma, human being will be without that Dharma, then it's not better than that. So the last thing that, if you don't develop the Dharma, Dharma means a characteristic which can be separated from you. Everything is a characteristic. And that characteristic, by that characteristic, this thing is being recognized. Sugar is characterized by sweetness. And if there is sweetness, then you will say sugar. If it is not sweet, then you will say it is not sugar. Because that is the characteristic of sugar. The living entities have also a characteristic of dharma. Dharma which, which cannot be separated from you. And that, that which cannot be separated from you is what? If you think of that, what cannot be separated from you? Service. I have been serving since my birth till the end of my life. Either I am serving my senses, either I am serving my family, either I am serving my society, either I am serving my laws, either I am serving my country. I am serving something, 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 all the time, no matter what, which age I am to or where am I. I am still serving. I am always a servant eternal. That's why you are a social Krishna with your Yara eternal servant. But we from now on, you will become the servants of Maya. We talk about the opposition. Otherwise, if you remember that we are all the servants of Krishna, then our position is very clear. So we are always servants, 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 servants. Unfortunately, we have misplaced our subjects. We have taken Krishna. We have become disconnected from Krishna. We have taken our Krishna from our center and we have connected to something else. And that's why our servants are so many different things. So many things we are serving all the time. In place of being Krishna in the center, then our service will be open. When we have removed Krishna out of the center, we have become disconnected from Krishna. And we are serving everything else with the hope of getting something, 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 something. And ultimately we fail in that. We think that by doing this thing I'll get something. By doing this thing I'll get some happiness. By doing this thing I'll get some, something different. And we keep on doing this thing, we keep on changing. 
Gandhi ne bhi ishwari. Gandhi ne ishwari. That's how our reason. That is called our ignorance. Our ignorance is that with the hope of getting something, we keep on doing those things. And we have forgotten the Krishna in between. And we will do it in time. If we remember Krishna, we come back to our religion, the constitution of Buddhism, then we will actually sit here and we will actually sit here. So in order to be sit here and rightly, we must understand what is our religion of Buddhism, and we should start acting on that Buddhism. And that's called our dharma. And dharma and dharma, that should be some of them. Otherwise, without dharma, we are no better than any of us. Maybe you have two legs, you have two legs. That's all. And then because of four legs of eight legs of whatever number of legs they have, that's something else. But you should understand this position. And you should be all of our Christian consciousness and learning of Holiness. And that's the potential to Holiness. The potential to Holiness, as I mentioned, that we remain always connected with Krishna. And connected with Krishna means we become Christian consciousness. And this is how we can succeed in our life. Hare Krishna. Sela Prabhupada Kriti. Yeah.